Here you can see the fluoroscopic picture of the gastric body, the antrum, the pylorus, and the duodenum. The dog was fed with mashed potatoes with a consistency similar to solids. The material is mainly retained in the gastric reservoir, which is markedly relaxed. Only small quantities of the solids are transferred to the antrum. The constrictions of the antral waves are shallow, exerting only a low propulsive force. Despite regular opening of the pyloric sphincter, the solid material is retained in the antrum. The jet-like retropulsion during the terminal antral contraction causes grinding of the solid material and prevents blocking of the small pyloric opening. In this way, the emptying pattern of solids is characterized by an initial lag phase. After a solid meal, the primary function of the stomach is to grind and liquefy the solid material. After a period of about 15 minutes, the filling of the antrum has not increased much. This shows that the solids are retained in the gastric reservoir over a prolonged period. It further indicates that the process of grinding and liquefying the solid material is a slow process. Only small quantities of the diluted chyme escape into the small intestine. A peristaltic wave of the gastric body pushes a bolus of the solid material towards the antrum. The arrow indicates the aboral propulsion of the bolus from the gastric body to the proximal antrum and further distally towards the pylorus. Another peristaltic wave of the gastric body propelling a bolus towards the antral pump. The aboral transfer of the bolus can be clearly seen. Reaching the proximal antrum, the peristaltic constriction becomes deeper. However, the solid material is only emptied into the duodenum when it's sufficiently liquefied. In this way, both the slow transfer of solids from the reservoir into the antral pump and the slow process of grinding and liquefying contribute to the delayed emptying of solids.